Hello, my creative peeps. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. And I'm here today to bring you a fun project. Now, I will apologize. When I first designed this project, um, I was using some of the Penguin and Friends designer series paper, and I know it's retired. However, please keep in mind that you can use any designer series paper and cardstock that you wish. I'm just trying to use some up in my stash, plus I loved this paper. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a box that will hold um, a big Bath and Body Works shower gel. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You're going to want to bring in your paper trimmer and you're going to want to cut a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by ten and three quarters. So let's cut this at ten and three quarters and then make sure it's eight and a half. Yep, excuse me. Okay, now on the eight and a half inch side, you want to score it at two and a half. at four, at six and a half, and at eight. Then we're going to score on the 10 and three quarters inch side at one and a half. at seven and three quarters and then we're going to flip the card stock like this and score at eight and a half and at nine and a quarter Okay, then we're going to come back down here where the bottom was, where we flipped the cardstock, and we are going to um, we're going to make a, we're going to fold this on that second score line, okay, like this. And we're going to make a couple little tick marks so that we know where to cut. So we're going to do that at three quarters of an inch. And I just like to bring in a pencil and I'll tick that off at three quarters of an inch. And then at three and a quarter of an inch. At four and three quarters. and at seven and a quarter. Okay, now we're just gonna set this aside for just a moment. And we are going to put together our, um, or we're gonna cut our designer series paper. And then I'm gonna show you how to cut this. So we need two pieces that are two and a quarter by four and five eighths. So let's see here. Two and a quarter by four and five eighths. And then we need two pieces that are one and a quarter by four and five eighths. So one and a quarter. And then we need two pieces that are one and a quarter by two and a quarter. Mm -hmm. 
and then two pieces that are one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So this is, let's see here, one and a quarter. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of my paper trimmer. And I'm going to show you how to cut and assemble this box up. And it's pretty simple. It looks more difficult than it really is. Um, but just bear with me here. Okay, so first we're going to want to burnish and score all... Oh, well, hold on here. I apologize. I'm just looking at all my little marks here. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut from the score line to my mark just like this on there. Okay. Then I'm going to fold on my next score line and do the same thing. So from my intersecting score line and then on this one we got to cut it out. Okay, like that. Fold on the next score line. Cut from my score line to my score line. And then we have one more to go. Hold on my score line. Cut that piece out. Just like that. Okay. So let's burnish all these score lines that I just folded and cut at. Okay, and then we want to burnish and fold. And then I'm going to erase my pencil marks. Really quick. Okay. And then next, I'm going to want to cut out this side here and then I'm going to tab this end and this end. I'm going to cut off the bottom rectangle and then I'm going to tab this end and this end. And then I'm also going to cut up each of the score lines on the bottom. And I'm gonna wedge on the squares. Okay, so it should look like that. So it's going to fold up like this. Let's get an idea of how this is going to go together. Oh, I forgot to...
Okay. So now that we've got that going on, I just want to make sure I got that folded. So you kind of want it, want it folded like this because it's going to, we're going to put some ribbon through here. But what we're going to do is we're going to add our designer series paper first. as well. Okay, so just like that. So I'm going to put it closer to the bottom because I'm going to put ribbon around here. Okay, next we are going to add glue to our tabs here. glue this up so I'm going to put my base in first and then the sides and then do the same thing on this one and then we'll glue down the front okay just like that and I like to put a ruler in and make sure all the pieces are down. Okay, now on this one, I just realized I don't want this triangle on here since it kind of detached itself. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add our body wash on into there. And then I'm going to add some ribbon. Let me grab my ribbon here. I'm not sure which ribbon to use here. I'm going to go with the in color ribbon, the Fresh Freesia. And I'm going to tie here where we have the gap. Okay. 
and then I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to put a quick little tag on the front here. So I'm going to use some retired punches, but if you have the layering circles, it'll do the same thing. So I'm going to take my two and a quarter inch punch and I'm going to punch out a circle. And then I'm going to take some basic white cardstock. For a little scrap here. And I'm going to cut a two inch punch. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring in my Holly Jolly Wishes. And I'm going to stamp Would Holly Jolly fit on there? I think Holly Jolly will fit on there, so we're going to try that here. I'm just going to use my Memento ink. on here just like that and I'm going to layer this right there and there's our gift for today you guys so I appreciate you joining me for the 12 days of Christmas. Um, until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. Bye-bye.